Hi, it's good to have you back with me today. We are going to be using our number bond templates to help us with our lesson. We'll get started right after I pour myself something to drink and I'll meet you at my desk. Today we're going to be using our number bond templates to help us with subtraction. I really like using these because it really helps me see the problem so much better. So make sure you have yours ready. So let's get started. I'm going to make up a story and then we will show it together on our number bond. Do you have your counters? You can show it too at home. Here we go. So I have six. Let's call these cupcakes. I have six cupcakes. One, two, four, five, six. I share two cupcakes with my friends. How many cupcakes do I have left over? How many do you see? Four. So we could say six minus two equals four. But let's show that using our number bond template. How many cupcakes did I start with? Six. So I know the whole is six. So let's put six in our whole. Now, how many cupcakes did I share with my friends? Two. I know I had six cupcakes and I shared two with my friends but I wasn't sure how much I had left over. So I like subtraction using the number bonds because I have the whole. I knew one part, but I need to find the other part. So here's a little trick. Is my answer going to be bigger or smaller than my whole? Yes, smaller because it's a part. The parts are always smaller than the whole. That's something to keep in mind. So we figured out our answer. We knew that six altogether, take away two, left us four. So let's erase our question mark and put four in my part. Six minus two leaves me four left over. But we're not done. We can take what we know in our number bond and now write it in a subtraction and addition sentence. Let's start by writing our subtraction sentence. How much did we start with? Six. Let's write it together or you can just watch me. Either way is okay. I had six. I shared two cupcakes with my friends. So how many did I have left over? Four. If we didn't know the answer, I could have put my question mark right here. Do you remember how I had that question mark? Same thing, but we know our answer now. Six minus two equals four. What if I tell my story another way? What if I had six cupcakes and I ate four before the party started? How many cupcakes were left for the party? I don't know, but we can figure it out. How many cupcakes did we start with? Six. But this time I ate four before the party. So I'm gonna take away four how many did I have left for the party? Two. Two is right. I had two counters and I know four and two make six. Do you see how using the number bond template helps us with subtraction? It also can help us with addition. So let me show it to you real quick before we move on to another problem. I have my whole number bond template. We made up two subtraction stories. Do you think you can come up with an addition story? Remember, addition starts with our two smaller parts 
and we put them together to make a whole. Can you tell your teacher an addition story using my parts? Here's my story. I had four red cupcakes and two yellow cupcakes. And I had six cupcakes all together. So what would the opposite be? Here's my story. I had two, I'll put it right here so you can see. I had two yellow cupcakes and four red cupcakes and it equals six cupcakes. Do you see how they're the same answer even though I started with different parts? Let's try it again. Erase your board. Let me erase my number bond template and you can erase yours at home. Okay. Now, let me start off by filling in our number bond template again and then we can show what we know with our counters and then write the problem. So this time, I had nine froggies in my backyard. Three froggies hopped in the pond. I wonder how many froggies were left in the grass. Let's see if we can figure that out using our counters. What is our hole that we wanna start with? Yes, nine. So let's show nine. I'm gonna have red froggies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do you have nine ready? Good, let's continue. I had nine froggies. Three of them jumped in the pond. That's what I know. So how many should I take away? Three, so let's take three away. How many froggies are left? Yes. Six, the counters help us solve our problem. So I could take away my question mark and let's write six. We did it. Now let's write it. What is our hole? Nine, I had nine froggies all together and it shows you right there. How many jumped in the pond? Three. So I use the minus sign to show that three went away or three jumped in the pond. And how many are left? Yes, six. Did you write this too? Nine minus three equals six. Or nine take away three leaves me six. But what's the opposite? We could also say well, actually, before I tell mine, can you tell your teacher the opposite? We did nine minus three equals six. What's another subtraction story we could say using the same numbers? Do you do it? Here's mine. There were nine froggies in the grass. Six froggies found bugs to eat. How many froggies didn't have any bugs to eat? Do you know the answer? But let's show it with our counters. How many froggies did we start with? Nine. How many froggies had bugs to eat? Six, so let's count out six. Here's three, four, five, six. So how many froggies had no bugs to eat? Yes, three, the opposite of what we did. So let's write it. There were Nine froggies, six had bugs to eat. And how many froggies had no bugs? Three. So we say nine minus six equals three. You wanna do it one more time together? Here we go. Let me clear my board. Erase your mat and I'll erase mine. Here we go. Let's count out seven counters. 
So I started with seven lollipops. I must be getting hungry. There's seven lollipops and four dropped on the ground. How many lollipops are left in my hand? I don't know, but I wonder if you already know. So let's show it with our counters to solve our problem. You ready? How many counters do we start with? Seven. So let's count out seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many lollipops fell on the ground? Four. So we're taking away four. I'm going to take away the whole top row. So how many lollipops did I have left in my hand? You got it. Three. That's my number bond. Seven minus four leaves me three. Did you already know that before I even did this? So let's show it. When we write a subtraction problem, what do we start with? The whole number, and that was seven. So let's write it. Seven, how many dropped on the ground? Four lollipops dropped on the ground. Is it plus or minus? Minus. Minus four leaves me how many? Three. Showed it again with my counters. Seven minus four equals three. So what else could we say? How else can we tell our story differently? Let's see if you can figure it out this way. I had seven lollipops. Three were in my left hand. How many were in my right hand? Let's show it. What number do I start with when I write a subtraction story? The whole. So let's start with seven. I had three lollipops in my right hand. How many were left in my left hand? Here we go. How many were in my right hand? Three. Or you can look right here. And how many were left in my other hand? Yes, four. If I had th seven lollipops all together, Three in one hand, I had to have four in the other. Seven minus three leaves me four. Do you see how our number bond works? I love the picture this shows. It helps me so much when I subtract. So make sure you keep practicing your number bonds using the template and counters if you find it helpful. Bye, see you next time.